happy Sunday. I haven't gotten the mic hook up yet, so it's a little echoey. Bear with me. Week, we're, well now I'm like in week three in the new place, which is kind of exciting. Thanks so much for being here. I have, I love a good Sunday get ready with me moment. We're gonna go from this to this. Potential trigger warning to anybody who's recently lost, anybody who's passed on, died, anything like that. I, there's so many phrases for it, but I dive into a recent experience that I'm going through in my life, so if you're not prepared to even just be around that, please don't watch this video. I don't want to set you off emotionally or, or harm you in any way, shape, or form with your emotional and mental health. If you're cool with talking about clean beauty and what's going on in my life, then stick around and let's get into it. I have the Odyssee Mineral Drop Sunscreen. I'm working on a full scorecard for this, so I have this in a very light shade. I think I would have automatically gotten into it if it was a little bit darker because I don't like too much paleness on the face. You guys know I love a bronzer. So this is one of the lighter shades, as you can see. It's a pretty wet formula. I think it's shade one, but I will have everything linked below so you can check it out. And if there's a promo code, you will get a promo code if I have it. It was not super conservative on the amount that I put on my hand. As you can see, you're gonna get some glow. You're gonna get some glow. I wouldn't say it feels oily. It's almost a little bit richer than a straight up wet, oily sunscreen. It just looks, you're gonna look a little greasy at first, but you gotta give it a second, I've noticed. You just give it a minute, it'll settle in, and from there we can kind of play around with it. We'll do a touch test in a minute too. But yeah, I, I mean, hello. She's got some glow, it's amazing. But the full scorecard's coming, zinc oxide 12%, not a bad number, not a cosmetic chemist, not a big sunscreen aficionado. There's a lot of information about sunscreen out there, and it can be really confusing. I'm just looking at myself in a mirror down here and I look hysterical. I look like a wet seal. That has to be one of my favorite comments. They're like, I don't want to look like a wet seal. So we can play with it. You're getting more richness, a little bit heavier than a gel. Those have a tendency to work really well with cream foundations. So just saying. I am back to the peach corrector. Loving it. Cancels out any blues, dark circles. It's just, it's so great. And it's very lightweight. How are you doing? How's it going? How was your week? Mine was weird, not gonna lie. I usually come to these videos with some form or some semblance of what I want to talk about, and I kind of did that again today, but it's been a roller coaster emotional week over here. House Labs, I just started getting back into this because my skin was crazy because it's been stressful. A yeah, very small amount goes a long way. It does start to oxidize a little bit. That's the only bummer with this, but man, the coverage is beautiful as you're about to see. That's really just a pea-sized amount. This one was, I mean, I probably overdid it. I unpacked in two days. And you know when, you know when your body, you just can't fool your body. You can't, you can't try and do a switcheroo on the body. The body really knows when there's emotional toll that's being taken. So I've just been trying to listen to that. And then last Friday I received some pretty devastating news about a friend of mine who is no longer with us. Expected and yet not expected in the timing of it. And I've never had somebody who's even younger than me. Luckily, I guess I've been lucky in that respect. Haven't had to experience much of that. Yet. And I don't think there's a correct way to talk about what happens when people die. I don't I don't think there's I don't know the right way to talk about that, but I'm just processing that right now. I actually was not going to film this. This is the Lawless palette. I still have it. You can spray a certain type of alcohol on this just to make sure you know it's not getting bacteria all up in there. I did that before I moved. It was a really good opportunity to be like, oh, I can clean this, I can clean that. So I did that with this palette. I just really like these peachy shades. If you're a subscriber, you've seen me talk about them, but they're next level and complicated. They're right there. They're so, so surprisingly nice with a brown eye. I just, I don't know, I just really like it. So I have moments that are like, be grateful, you're here, you know, trying to figure it out. I don't know. I laugh when things are uncomfortable sometimes, so just, bear with me. But then I go on the flip side of that and I'm like super angry. And then I oscillate back towards like, why are you angry? You're not the one who has to, you know, like this didn't really directly affect me. So there's just this, if anybody out there is trying to process something 
substantial in their life and you don't know how I hear it I, I, I feel you and I am currently in that spot I'm not necessarily asking for advice on how to do it I'm really just saying that I think it's personal I think that we all have to figure it out and figure out how to navigate it I was really happy that I reached out to friends or family members and didn't really sit with it too long for myself Although I feel like I need to do more of that, actually, because I only did it for like 10 minutes. That's what's going on in my life. If this is triggering, apologies. So let's go back into the makeup because there's something very therapeutic about just basic everyday makeup. I mean, I guess this isn't super basic, but there's something therapeutic there and I've always gravitated towards it. So I'm really happy that, and I'm grateful that I do have this space. And I hope it's a happy place. I've always wanted that. I've always tried to make this area on the internet a little happy corner with honest reviews and stuff like that. So hopefully this is a place where you feel like you can come back to as well and where you feel like you belong. Because I feel like there's a lot of that currently missing in a lot of people's lives. That's what I hear. I moved a block or two up the street. I didn't move that far. And it was shockingly disorienting. It was great because moving kicks you in the butt and it kind of gets you moving in a different direction. No pun intended. This is the rose cream bronzer. It really gives you a fresh space, a fresh start. Even if it's just a block away, there's something about it, right? Like you have to, get rid of all the old, bring in some new. I'm gonna tell you, I really did not want to bring in much new. It was more donations and then really being intentional about what I was bringing in. And it was really unexpected. Like I thought that I was gonna go to live where my brother and sister-in-law and my niece live. And I went on that trip and everything felt like before I went on that trip, I was like, yeah, that's it, that's perfect, that's perfect. And I might still go there, but as I was in that area around Arlington, Virginia, beautiful area, Ilya Powder Bronzer, this just sort of holds this cream bronzer in place and obviously amplifies it. But as I was walking around there, my gut was just like, no, this is the, you come and visit here. You don't have to live here just yet. So I listened to the gut and didn't feel 100% about any of it, by the way, except for listening to the gut like the end result i'm kind of like okay so now what but it feels right but you know nothing's a hundred percent certain and it doesn't have to be a hundred percent certain so anyway i moved up a little bit i really like the new place blue is settling in she has yet to come downstairs when i'm filming i am crossing my fingers because you know i know we love the cameos from the cat most of us i don't know if all of you do but i do too and she comes down here and it's a little office space that's right next to the garage. She thinks it's sort of off limits. I don't know why, probably because the garage in the last space, I never let her down there, obviously. So I think she'll warm up to it. She loves to be wherever I am, wherever people are. She is a fan. She's a very social cat. I don't know if you've ever had a Siamese. And I don't know if all Siamese are actually social. I know they're very chatty. She's like incredibly social. And she warms up to people real fast. This milk makeup mascara started out super clunky. This felt so big, the, the brush. And I could not manage getting it on the lash without a lot of clumps. Now it's feeling like a decent option. It's getting better with use, so I don't know. I'm not mad at it. I've never had a mascara go from horrible first impression, which, perfectly honest, I, it really was a bad first impression for me. It was off cam, to, oh, I think I wanna use that today. Oh, I think I wanna use that today. You know what I mean? It's just, that doesn't usually happen, so it's an interesting thing. I am also getting ready to go to a memorial today, so it's not for my friend, it's for my family, friends, Husband, I, it's just a weird time of, I don't know, circle of life. It's all sort of happening at once in my circles. And then I was talking to another good friend of mine yesterday and she was driving back from a celebration of life, which now makes me think of the show. I don't know if you've watched it. I think it's on Hulu or Peacock. This is the 14E setting powder. My under eye just needed some love there and I'm gonna be out and about, so I need it to stick around, the concealer. But the show is called Swedish Death Cleaning and 
it sounds really morbid and yeah okay there's definitely morbid notes to it but it's actually very much so the opposite of what you would imagine and these Swedish talented people who one is an interior designer one is an organizer they come into homes of people who need clearing up on all different types of circumstances they're not all basically saying that they're gonna die but they look at it and they approach the space and they do their magic in the space and they talk a lot about how it's a very common conversation in other countries and the US really has a hard time with it. I didn't really expect to just be talking about this today, but it makes sense. Preparing for something that is a phase in everybody's life, it's not just this horrible loss, it's you're preparing for it like you'd prepare for retirement, except completely different because you're not really retiring. And then there's the whole existential question, what happens? We don't know, we're not gonna go into that today. But I really liked that show. And I've, I've watched a few episodes, I haven't watched all of it. Amy Poehler, I think it's her show, she's a producer on it. I just thought it was a really different take and I really appreciated their approach. It's something that's really, really different from like extreme home makeover. I love, I love a good makeover show, I'm not gonna lie. I love a good makeover show. Home face, fashion, all of it. We love a transformation, but this is just an interesting approach to it. I highly recommend just even checking out one episode to see if you like it. The characters in there are hilarious, basically. The experts are super funny, great, great on television. This is basically the simple look. You're not getting a lot of steps here. It's just a warm look, and I feel like I want to go back to familiar, easy, what makes me happy, what I like on my face, what feels good. This usually isn't the sunscreen that I use. Sometimes I'll use the Say sunscreen, but I'm liking how the makeup adhered to it. It's still a little tacky, so I might set it with some more powder. I don't have a big powder brush here right now. I can try it with this one, but I don't want too much powder or else it starts to look dry. Just enough so you get that kind of happy medium, you know what I mean? A little bit of balancing out here. We also have to consider the fact that there are lights on my face, which when we're out in natural light, it's not gonna necessarily look this glowy. There you have it. All right, there you have it. That's the look. Not too heavy, and it does feel much better actually, with just a little bit of a dusting of powder. So I feel like with this, I like it. I don't love it yet. It takes time. But I also think if I got the darker shade, I might really like it. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. Scorecard coming soon. I will have a solo review again of the Mango People Bronzer Stick and some other products that are new. I haven't had a lot of time for solo reviews in between the move, but they're coming back. You're gonna get some scorecards and more. Thank you for being here. Thanks for listening and playing with makeup alongside of me. I will see you right back here real soon. Until then, take care. Sending out so much love and gratitude and hugs because I feel like no matter what we're going through, we could all use that. Bye. If you enjoyed the Sunday fun day, I don't know if it was Sunday fun day. I was a little morose. I hope you had fun. No. Can't have fun with us. Talked about death.